Hello, my name is Mordred Viking, and I'd like to welcome you to episode 8 of this Let's Play Civilization 6. This is Barbarossa of Germany. In the previous episode, we continued our war against Scythia, against this ludicrously tough city, which thankfully still hasn't got walls. We have a catapult on the edge near, uh, next to it, and we have another catapult on the way in, which hopefully in two turns time will be set up and able to fire. I kind of miscalculated a little bit over there. In the meantime, the uh, Scythian counterattack was thwarted, mainly because they were being stupid instead of going for Heidelberg, or as I thought they were going to go for Madab Magdeburg, because it didn't have walls. In fact, it still doesn't have walls. They got a bunch of horsemen through, and I thought they could have taken this for sure. But they didn't, and they just let me shoot them to pieces, so I did that. And they've basically got no troops left. Uh, yeah, so things are going pretty well. Boston managed to sneak in a settler up here before I could get into place. So I built Ulm. Do I still have a settler around somewhere? Yes, yeah, so I do. This guy, who is going to go over here and basically preempt uh, Scythia over on that side. So we're going to end this turn and start the next. And it's actually kind of a good thing that we weren't able to build where Boston currently is, because that would have pissed off France and the US. Well, if we build over here, it will probably slightly annoy Scythia, but we're already at war. So I don't think it will matter so much. Let's move you back. Let's... no, not you. Move you up. Next turn, and then the turn after you can fire. But in the meantime, let's just have you continue your bombardment. Should be slightly more effective. No, that's only against land units. I don't know if this affects you. It does not. So we're just going to keep on shooting and hope that they basically don't get a wall, because if they do, then we are screwed. Ah, oh, we have a crossbowman. Excellent. Let's move you down here and basically replace this guy with the crossbow. And then Care Tempest can build something new, having just built something. Market, maybe? No, I'm not sure, but I'm going to build a trader with you so we can start making a bit more cash. Meanwhile, we have built the commercial center here, which is why we can get the new trader. We're going to get a market, because we are short on money, and that is becoming a bit of an issue. Move you offside so you can charge through here. I'll just put you back there. That's fine. Oh, wait. No, you were actually coming this way. Oh, that was a mistake. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. And you... We're going to build an aqueduct right there before we built the um, library. I remember! I remembered what we were going to do. Ooh, you could have fired at someone. really wish you gave me a thing saying this thing is in range. But you did. Oh, you can still shoot. It hasn't actually ended my turn. In that case, fire! Yeah. Lovely jubbly. Another Scythian down. Settler is in place. I think I was just going to move you down to... I'm going to move you here. Give these cities a bit more space to expand. Unfortunately, we wouldn't be able to get past this, even if I put the city here. That's always going to block us. Though I guess I could put the city here and a harbour here. Though that wouldn't make sense, because you'd probably want the harbour adjacent to that. Harbour, commercial district, industrial district, something like that. Actually, probably the industrial district up here. Campus here, where it's adjacent to two mountains. Put it here, it's adjacent to three. That would be a better location. Industrial district here. Kill Hill resource. Something like that, anyway. Um, we're going to leave you there next turn. Yes, we were going to move the swordsman to the right. No, I do not want peace yet, because I've still not taken that one sodding city. It's all That was the only reason I went to war, was to take this bloody city. France has denounced the deeds of Norway. You want open borders. Sorry, America, no. Because I don't trust the AI. If they get open borders, they should get absolutely huge um, warmonger penalties, but they don't seem to. From exploration, and the end of all our exploring will be to arrive where we started and know the place for the first time. We are definitely getting Merchant Republic right now. Plus two trade routes, discount on gold purchases. Lovely. Knowledge of castles is advanced. Cool. So, militarily, we're going to switch those two over there. Newly built builders gain two free thingies. I think we're going to say plus two gold from all trade routes. 
plus two influence from city states. We're not currently, we don't have many envoys with city states. Oh, hang on. For each envoy at a city state, I thought that was one gold from every city state. Okay, actually, this could make you a lot of money. I've been completely misreading that. So if you have like six envoys in one city state, that's going to be plus six gold from that one city. So in the Sumeria game, for example, this could have made me a buttload of cash. Huh, okay. Um, what else do we want? Is there any other production stuff? Well, let's have a look at the uh, cash things. Cost of tile purchases. Plus two housing in all cities with at least three speciality districts. That is something which is going to occur. Plus one culture and plus one science from international trade routes. We've not got that many of those. Faster growth cities not on the original continent. No. Naval units. Ancient classical. No. Unit maintenance reduced by one. I don't think maintenance is actually... Oh no, we're losing 22 from units. We're starting to get some of the more advanced ones. So it might be useful. I'm somewhat tempted by this one. And possibly that one, just to save money. So that we can... If we start earning more money, then we can start upgrading the archers and things. Particularly as we have the uh, professional army bonus. We can always switch this one out later. Rather than the additional production. I mean, production's not that big of an issue for us. We build things quickly. I think that's what I'm going to go for. Yes, we are now making money. Marvellous. Next turn we'll have double assault from the catapults, plus you firing as well. 18 damage. We're doing less and less damage to them. And the archer did 7. Okay. Whoops. You stay there. You two switch places. You stay there. Oh, for Pete's sake. Stop deselecting the units I have selected. That's really annoying. Alright, you were moving this way. Ah, excellent. Builder. Um, we're going to get the rice set up because I think we've already got a granary there, do we not? That is one thing we will need to check. <coughs> we do not. Let's build a granary. Alright, civics. We got the main one that we wanted, which was exploration. Humanism for more culturally stuff. Not a huge problem, because we haven't actually been that far behind culturally. Guilds. Ooh, plus 100% industrial zone adjacency, plus 100% commercial zone adjacency. That is one I would like. And we will need civil service and recorded history. So let's get recorded history, because we now do have the uh, two campus districts. Oh, we need drama and poetry. We don't have any wonders. Yeah, we're not doing any of that. Okay, we'll get drama and poetry. That's fine. We can now have more trade routes, so we'll need to start pumping out more traders. Ooh, Scythian army is leaving again. Still no walls. Alright, let the real bombardment begin. Bombardment! Twenty-two health, nice. Now we're going to start doing some actual proper damage to them. Which is lovely. 26 damage, oh nice. Yes, we could have used the archers to shoot at those guys. But I just want to keep on doing damage. We'll move you across. Move you up. In case they do decide to land these over here, we'll have a melee guy in the way to deal with them. And you're going to continue marching this way to help fortify where this settler is going. There he is. And by all means, build me a farm there. Excellent. Another one here, then I think we'll just go for the... No, we'll go for plantation camp and one lumber camp, probably. Unless we get that silver first. Though we're not currently aiming for it. But we're in no real danger, so that's fine. You are Norwegian pro uh, missionaries. Hasn't really stopped the uh, AI spam. They are lining up a lot of troops over here. Both of these places have walls though, so it shouldn't be too big of an issue. I think you kind of realise that this city is going to fall. 
Though why you have so many troops over on this side of the map, I have no idea. Number 27. You guys shoot. You move up to there, the next time you two can switch around and that'll be even more powerful uh, ranged attack. Which will be great. You come down to here. Alright, so how much is it to upgrade these guys? 100 gold. Okie dokie. So, Frankfurt has just finished building works or an actual hansa. You might have actually... F no, you were building a market. So, we could have you build a new trader or the workshop. You know what? We're going to go with the trader. We'll start getting the, uh, the main bonus for having a merchant republic out and about. You come up here. You come up here just to make sure that that settler is guarded because we are moving into Scythian territory now. No. In a turn or two, I will accept that peace deal, but right now, no. Having food here will be a problem. What can be labeled, packaged, mass produced is neither truth nor art. Shipyard and the Venetian Arsenal. Yes, we do need more amenities. I'm working on it, guys. I'm working on it. All right. What tech did we just get? Sorry. Not going to tell me. Mass production. All right. Um, was that leading towards something we could get industrialization right now? I think we will. Seeing as, you know, industry is kind of our raison d'etre. Are you guys firing away? Yeah, the city is definitely going to fall now. It's taken a long bloody time, though. Way longer than I'd expected. Have you two switch. Um, might as well move towards the city. I'll just have you kind of over here, looking out on where these guys are coming. Likewise, he march this way. We're going to need some kind of fortification out here. Ooh, barbarians. You go and sit on top of them. Thankfully, we do have these guys coming to support. Could probably move the horsemen up as well. Could and probably should. Next turn, I think that city will fall. You're attacking me as I thought you might. But archers can withstand at least one assault. The poets have been mysteriously silent on the subject of cheese. Drama and poetry. Which was not the adjacencies that I wanted, but I think the next one is. Right, let's bombard. And bombard. And then final shot. Do way more damage to the horsemen than the spearmen. Oh no, sorry, you do less damage. Alright, hit the spearmen then. And then you should be in a position to take the city. Beautiful. Huzzah! Okay, and yes, I would very much like to keep that city. Just to stop anyone else settling over there. Now we can have a talk with Scythia and say, I will accept your peace offer. Oh, you wouldn't accept anymore. Alright. You don't like the fact I've actually taken something from you. You're going to have to back off. You're going to have to move up. You're going to... No, not you. You're going to have to move up. And I think I will send the horsemen in. <clears throat> back off one, and then shoot. back you off one more just in case. Uh, yes, you can build that. May as well line up some archers on the coast then to have a few free shots. Let's leave you there, just keep an eye. Okay, new civic. We are going with recorded history so that we can get civil service and then guilds. Grow city to 10 population. Is that going to happen anytime soon? New production in Berlin. 
which can finally get their hunter. F end. Why would it be F end? That would be Frankfurt. Frankfurt can't reach. Okay, Tempest could, but I think that meant Berlin industrial zone, because I think you already have one? No, you were going to build one here. Cologne. Does Cologne have one? No. Okay, I'm confused. Care Tempest, where were you going to build your industrial zone? Pretty sure it was here. And Cologne, where are you going to build yours? You haven't got one marked out. Well, theoretically, you could build one here, which would be another nice adjacency. Or you could build yours here. We still have the adjacency from the hills. Building here, you would have one, two, three, four, five. That would actually be a really good spot. And then commercial district there would give you adjacencies between those two. Yes, I like that position. So close that. Pin here. C, end. Okay. Of course it doesn't save. So that would be Care Tempest Industry, which means Berlin is going to get a Hansa here. Right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Doesn't quite reach. Would reach you, would reach you, would reach you. One, two, three, four, five, not even close. We need to find Toronto. Okay, Heidelberg has finished building. You still can't get the harbour. We've done the Hunter and all the upgrades. You can't get the commercial district yet. You can get the encampment. Uh, not as important, but still fairly important to get an encampment here. Or we could get you to build me a trade area. Um, no, you can start me on the encampment. I think it would be beneficial for some of the cities down here to have them, because I'm expecting Scythia to be really aggressive now that I've taken one of their cities. Okay, you... can build me a builder. Uh, that would take you forever and a day. Build me a monument so we can expand your borders a bit more. Make sure that Boston doesn't take too much from us. Speaking of which, I should grab that tile before Boston does. What would it cost? 180. Okay, maybe not. Not yet, anyway. Okay, next turn. Scythia is bringing in the troops. Barbarians have been a nuisance. You're welcome. I have no idea what you're talking about. No. You're going to get open borders. You're going to sneak your troops past my front line with walls, and then you're going to declare war on me. I know what you're like, AI. I'm not falling for that. That is a lot of horsemen you're bringing in over here. Which is kind of too bad for you, because I have a lot of stuff that can shoot you. Not entirely sure why these two can see. Well, this one I can see would... No, is that hills? No, that's hills. Shouldn't be able to see them. There's hills in the way. Um, you fired. You haven't. Don't do a huge amount of damage to them. We'll shoot that one, because these archers will be in a position to shoot next turn. And they are bringing in troops to fight me. So we're going to bring in you over here. We'll bring you over here. Just in case you try and flank me, which I'm going to suspect you are going to try. Right, you have got three builds left. I'm thinking one, two, three. Unless we get the silver. Okay, Care Tempest. Still hasn't got that industrial zone. We're going to get the university, though. Let's get some more of this stuff going up. No one 
there. People coming charging over here, just to make sure we're not going to meet any Scythians on that side. Okay, so you could start a trade route with Paris and make me quite a lot of money, and science and culture. You know what? That's fine. France is no longer denouncing me, at least. Um, I'm going to kind of gamble that they're going to have a hard time attacking me from the sea. You've also finished. Uh, actually... No, that's fine. Let's start really churning out the cash. And get some upgrades done. Oh, you have a promotion. No, unfortunately, I can't use it. That's fine. Oh, I should have attacked with him. Damn it. Make peace. Will you give me your city? You will. So you wouldn't accept last turn, and now you're going to give me three amenities, a bunch of gold, peace deal, and no gold per turn. But that's fine. I accept. <laughs> Thank you, friend. Really? <laughs> really? Okay, so it's now just Arabia that's denounced me. My military has grown rather significantly, so I'm not too surprised that people are a little bit reluctant to come after me. So in Mainz, we are going to buy that tile to stop America getting it. What else do we need to buy to stop people getting? Nothing, I don't think. Let's have you grab this. Okay, settler. Where are we going to put you? <clears throat> I mean, theoretically, we could even put you here. An aqueduct to the mountain. That would actually allow you to grow bigger than if we put you on the coast. Or we could put you over here, which puts you a bit closer to them, pissing them off. If I'm okay with that. And put an aqueduct, say, here. You know what? I quite like that idea. We'll do that. We're just going to keep on feeding troops forwards. Uh, we're going to put the catapults on the roads so we can react to any future assault. Uh, you can promote stale cliffs. Um, likewise, we're going to kind of move these guys to the center of our nation so that they can react to attacks as and when they occur. Except for you, who are going to build me a lumber mill. Horseman, you can kind of gallop back this way, I think. Okay, good. Ah, 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 no. What? I just cleared the barbarians. You make no sense to me. You saying you've just seen some? No, I don't think so. I've lived through some terrible things in my life. Some of which actually happened. Okay, so we can get the plus 100% campus adjacency, which wouldn't be bad, but my uh, science rate is now kind of booming. So I don't think we really need to. Upgrade you, but I think I want to buy more land. Yeah, because you're already trying to take some of my stuff away. Uh, Boston may well be trying to get here. So I think I'm going to buy that province as well. Because that would really annoy me if they got that. Oh, that's 180. Okay, never mind. I won't get it just yet. Civil service. That sounds like a good one to me. Meanwhile, Magdeburg. We're going to start needing to think about entertainment in, uh, complexes because we are going to be short on amenities, although the peace deal has given us some additional ones. That is still a problem. Oh, no, no, no. You know what I need? I need a. I just need to churn out builders and traders until we've reached our limit. You've done all the upgrades. I need you to. Granary isn't really going to benefit you. You are not. Oh, yeah, you are maxed out. You know, I'll go out of granary so you can grow a little bit more. You continue riding this way. You can stay where you are. Settler. So we were talking about settling here. Which would permit me to put an aqueduct here, which is adjacent to the mountain. And also kind of forward block these guys. Okay, you go and sit in Trier. Fortify. And you guys are basically going to have to do the same thing. 
In the meantime, you come over here and build me a plantation. Tria is going to need ancient walls. I'm going to purchase probably this tile. So I can stick an encampment here. So in fact, we need to go add pin here. That's going to be, no, 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 that's going to be an aqueduct. If I can actually press the right buttons, that is. Aqueduct there. An encampment here, because it's the most defensive location. Okay. Although that would also be a really good spot for an industrial center. Alternative would be an aqueduct here, encampment here. Oh no, encampments cannot be adjacent to city centers. And I'd like the industrial center to be kind of as far in that direction as possible. This stuff here is going to be, have to be farmed. One, two, three. That's the only farmland that you're going to have. That would be a harbor. So this could be industrial. That would have one, two, three adjacencies. Here would be one, two, just two. So I think we're going to go the industrial here. This is Trier Industrial. Just don't want to save. T end. I guess an encampment here. No, commercial, sorry. And then a campus here. Like so. Quite spread out. No real adjacencies from other districts, but we have quite a few adjacencies from other resources, so I think that's fine. One, two, three. Here would be one, two, three. No, I think that's better. Yeah, I think that's fine. Okay. You are going to grow so slowly, you're going to have to rely on trade coming in. Plus I need this road up and running as soon as possible. Plus I'll need to buy this tile. In fact, can I do that now? It's quite close in. No, it costs 120. Once I've bought that though, then these two should be pretty secure. Alright, so well, I'm going to say that that is the end of this episode, so thank you very much for watching. If you're enjoying this series, then please do hit that like button. If you haven't done so already, then please do consider subscribing as well. If you have any tips or advice for me, do let me know in the comments. Thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Goodbye.